is up, soul sisters and brothers of the Divine Mother, gods, goddesses, beautiful souls. Welcome and welcome back to the channel where the goal is to become more balanced within. My name is Jaman and I'm solely known. I want to take a second to thank you for sharing this space of existence with me today, for clicking on the video. It is Valentine's Day, so if you're celebrating, happy Valentine's Day, whether you be in a relationship or single. I'm sending you much love and I hope you have a blessed day. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the vibe and the messages resonate and find them useful. This is a general reading, so not every message may resonate. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. They want to look up any angel numbers I get mentioned. 44 seconds on the clock. Other than that, I hope you're having a great and blessed day. Hope you're feeling loved and blessed and know that you are loved and blessed. Hope you've been able to get outside today to connect to the animals, the plants, the insects, all the synchronicities and symbolism that 101 on the clock, that Mother Nature and the universe has to provide for us simply through being aware. So we're going to be getting a collective message just to see what comes out 111 on the clock and what God, the universe, and source has for us today. Let's see what the divine wants us to know. I'm going to start off with some oracle cards here. Forty-four on the clock. What do you have for us? Spirit? Card number twenty-eight. Joy, music. These cards want to come out. Cool. Alrighty. I think this one first. Card number 30, Bravery, Oceans. 222 on the clock. Card number three, Beginnings, East. Off the bat I'm getting there's going to be a, there's a joyful new beginning that some of you are entering. That the collective is just, as a whole, going through this shift has to do with bravery as well. Facing oneself and the situation in life around them. I'm getting optimism. Let me get one more card here, please. Card number 21, companionship, animals. Getting this has to do with new earth. A joyful shift, new beginning that is happening for the people who are like bravely stepping more into their their soul's path into this shift. It's also bringing together more companionship, like connections of people who are in alignment with each other. Getting being alignment with nature itself. Hearing the song that Mother Nature is singing. This could have to do with the Schumann resonance, the rising of the frequency. I mean, it's going through its ups and downs, but all the same with this bravery card here. It's like, for those of you who are entering into this beginning, through this portal of ascension, it's going through the, the integration and the balancing of the highs and the lows with all these collective energies that are just shifting and being brought to the surface so that they can be released, alchemized, transmuted, whatever it is. Getting rising more in alignment with the song of your soul, as well as connecting more to your intuition. Card number 28, though, got two and eight could be significant. The number 10 could be a Taurus. 
Scorpio or Capricorn. You could have any of those placements in the second or the eighth or tenth house. Card number 30 with Bravery Oceans, we've got three and zero energy. Um, mainly Gemini though, as well as zero, which is the full card and the tarot, which is Mercury energy. So like heavy Gemini energy there. Could have that in the third, second or eighth house. More Gemini energy with Beginnings East card. And then more Gemini energy with the Companionship Animals card. 21. Numbers 2 and 1 could be significant. You could have Gemini in your rising or the second house. And I'm getting 333. 3, 3. 30 with Bravery Oceans. 3 with Beginnings East. 3 with card number 21, Companionship Animals. Could be seeing that number a lot. Could be a musician, singer, dancer, I mean poets, photographers, Getting as you enter into this beginning's East portal, there's something that you're rising above this Bravery Ocean card. This could be mastering the mind of yourself. Going through a new energetic portal, higher consciousness. Getting a big spiritual team though. Guides, ancestors, angels, animals as well. You hold the light. You are a beacon of light. You are an emanation of the divine light. It's also a portal of freedom. I'm looking at the horse on this card, which is a symbol of freedom. Also coming into a, a greater sense of abundance within the cycle that you're in as you continue to go through this portal. I'm looking at the rabbit and the frog. And the frog, though, also like a transformative energy going from the tadpole to the frog. Now I'm getting traversing between realms, like the the water, the spirit, subconscious, and then the the land. Like ground, something's grounding into the three D. Something that's gonna bring you a lot of joy. I'm also getting just connecting more to the inner joy within yourselves. But I was talking about a uh, like bridging between realms though, thinking about the frog though, it starts off in the water and then as it grows it's able to move to land. Some of you are mediums. I'm getting though you're coming into a very I'm kind of getting Empress energy, but not so much, but like just an abundant abundant energy, a lucky energy. I'm looking at the ladybugs here, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I'm getting seven of pentacles energy. Something that, like seeds that you've planted, that you've been investing energy into and nurturing, like that harvest is coming in if it hasn't already. It's because of all this transformation that you've been undergoing. I'm looking at the butterflies. The new perspectives you've gained, seeing things from, from a heightened sense of awareness with the giraffe. You've shed skin, like you've shed away the old cycles, the snake here. 
And I'm also getting wisdom. Again, consciousness, awareness. And all this three energy, which is Gemini energy, which is the learning and intellect. Something is helping you to move forward. With more confidence as well. More internal fortitude. It's like you're emanating as an emanation of the sun. Looking at this right here, which kind of looks like the sun, but she's wearing yellow. And all of this sunlight is illuminated around her, but also like all these animals are drawn to the person on this card, whether you be masculine or feminine. But I'm getting being in that receptive feminine energy where even like the animals here, they are attracted to your energy at this time as like a source of light. For some of you, you're going through a transformation of your resources. I'm looking at the raccoon here. And this raccoon has a butterfly that has landed on its paw that is like examining. But uh, this is also a transformation within your own internal resourcefulness. Some of you have been on a more so of a solitary journey. I'm looking at the wolf here, like lone wolf. But I'm getting that that's like coming to an end with this beginnings east card. And then companionship is the card. Like reaching more, more in alignment connections. Aligning. Sunflowers. And I'm getting the um the sun card in the tarot. It's like the sunflowers on the wall. Anything like these sunflowers have overgrown the wall, but like I'm seeing it as like growing through the wall. Like when I think of the sun card, it's like the wall is a blockage, but the sunflowers have grown up through it, kind of like the same way dandelions do, where now I'm getting resilient energy, but like when the obstacles, when the determination to grow is stronger than the obstacle or challenges, like nothing can stop it. And I'm getting that with a lot of you. That's this bravery card. It's like on top of the world here, overcoming any challenges or obstacles to keep moving forward into new beginnings. You may want to look up the meaning of the parrot, of the robin, of the fox, the raccoon, the giraffe, the wolf, the butterfly, the kangaroo, the horse, the snake, the frog. I'm getting Hecate energy as well. Some of you, you're at a crossroads, which is where you are moving into this new beginning. 14 minutes on the dot on the clock. I'm getting temperance energy. But so again, like alchemizing, transmuting between those cups with one foot and I'm being drawn back to this frog here one foot on on land one foot in the water let me see if I can find it where you at there it is right here one foot on the earth, one foot in the water, being drawn back to that frog energy. I'm looking at this path in the background now, which is leading to the sun, which is shining over the peaks of this mountain, like overcoming challenges and obstacles and finding that path in alignment with your purpose. But again, 
some of you are at a at a point where it's like you could move backwards or you can move forward but i'm seeing with this car right here and just in general like you're being guided by your higher self which is you right here with this lantern illuminating this staircase to this ascension portal and your higher self which sees everything from the highest perspective like you moving towards this portal Getting though to with this animal's companionship card to be aware of the animals, the insects, the plants even that are around you, because these are signs and synchronicities. Red roses, white roses. I'm getting pure love, unconditional, divine love. Also, orange or red flowers could be significant. Some of your ancestors want flowers. I'm also getting now that you are receiving your flowers in spirit, like from your spiritual team. But for some of you, your ancestors would like some flowers. Like if you have an altar set up, they would like flowers on there. As well as I'm getting to refresh the water, maybe. I just heard you, you fucking did it. I'm like, that is from your ancestors, your spiritual team. Like, they are celebrating. Something is being celebrated about something that you're going through. You've overcome something major. And again, it's leading to this ascension portal. And again, all these orbs here, it's giving me like confetti energy. This is your spiritual team or one specific guy, maybe. But there's all this like celebration confetti that's being thrown along this ascension path here. All right, let me get some more oracle here. I'm getting if you're feeling like the effects of the Schumann resonance peaks and and like all of that energy and just to remain grounded but also to allow yourself time to make sure that you're well centered and balanced within your own internal focus I'm also getting like values and morals and things like that like do they align with you in your path but um not so heavy on that energy, but this like compass right here, I'm getting the internal compass is centered, facing true north, north node energy. Thirty-three, master builder, healer, teacher number, but rose love. This is self-love that's blooming, as well as love as being. This is coming out right next to the companionship card, so there could be a new beginning here with beginnings, companionship, rose love, or there is a deeper connection that is forming within your existing relationship or. Maybe a blooming love that could be coming in soon, a new form of companionship, 
also like this is all happening because of the like the growth of self love within like that blooming love for self Rainbow, Beauty, card number 30. Card number 19, Island, Detachment. So, again, I was talking about with the, the wolf here. Some of you could have been on like a more solo journey at this time. Some of you, you could have been going through something where you detached recently. It doesn't have to be recent. You just... Like, this is unfolding more from the detachment of something from the past. It could be a connection. It could be a way of thinking about things or a way of doing things. But this Rainbow Beauty card here, it's like the bravery to go through these beginnings, to honor your own self-love, unconditional love, like sharing love with others, too, in the relationships that you are in, like the connections within your life in general, this rainbow beauty card, something is unfolding beautifully with this rose love card here, rainbow beauty. Again, the rainbow, I'm also getting a covenant with the divine. Activation of the light body too. So for some, you could have been in a, in a, um, inner reflection mode going through just the, the necessary time required to have in reflection. It doesn't have to be cutting yourself off and putting yourself on an island away from everybody or anything like that. But just having that time for self-reflection, which is leading more to this DNA activation and activation of your own light body with the rainbow beauty card here. Move these down a little bit and put these up top. shuffle but it was good one more card please two more cards instead i like it we gonna take it all right we got rain renewal something blooming again as well and then we've got butterfly regeneration growth within within your own energy For some, by going into a reflection mode, I'm like, again, this isn't talking about going full hermit, putting yourself on top of a mountain, anything like that. But this is seeing things from a higher perspective with this draft card and even the bravery world card, person standing on top of the world, the beginnings east card, rising up the staircase to ascension. This is just gaining new perspective. But this island detachment card followed by the rain renewal and the regeneration, this is just allowing yourself the time necessary throughout the day or whenever you can to connect with your inner self, to make sure that your internal compass is aligned and that your energy is as optimal as it can be so that you can continue to alchemize, transmute, to renew your energy, regenerate. But you can't always do that with if you're not taking that time to go within. And so for some of this island detachment card, you're being asked to detach from the from outside influence, not from the world, but from outside influence so that you can turn inward and renew and regenerate your own energy. Bloom more within your own light body, but as well as fill that cup of self-love. I 
heavy transformation energy. A lot of butterflies here. A lot of flowers, something blooming. Someone I'm getting, you are the island. Not secluded, but you are a form of sanctuary. For people who feel lost, like they've been wandering at sea. It's like you are the island. To help ground and bring people back from feelings of loss or wandering. But not all who wander are lost. The rainbow here bridging the gap. Now, for some, I'm getting this is through something that you. Share that brings you joy that is creative. Could be music, could be poetry, it could be writing. I'm getting some of you have written books. Some of you are poets. Some of you are songwriters. Some of you share your art through photography, through painting. I'm getting more creative companionship for some of you. Number 30 could be significant. We've got 30 out here twice. As well as the number 3 out here twice with butterfly regeneration, beginnings east, 33, and then Rose the Love card is number 33 as well. You know, this is a lot of self mastery energy. A lot of creation energy as well. Let's see, if we break it all down, how many threes do we have out here? I mean, Rose Love card, 33 really adds up to six, but 33, Rainbow Beauty card, 30, minus the zero there, three, Butterfly Regeneration, three, Beginnings East, 3. Bravery Ocean cards, 30. Minus the 0 is 3. Card number 21, Companionship, 3. This is a lot of creative energy. A lot of communicative energy. Communicative. Cative. Communication, though. Something being renewed in the way some of you communicate. Communicating with more love. Communicating more bravely. And some of your teachers, spiritual teachers, you may be an actual teacher of students, whether it be at the college, high school, or elementary, whatever school level it is. I don't know what the spiritual meaning of ducks is, but I'm getting there's a migration that is happening energetically. Like in the collective consciousness, in the energies with the Schumann resonance, everything. I can hear the ducks outside fl flying. And it's been like whole flocks of them flying in different directions. So I'm also getting, this is like new earth and old earth energy, people flying in different directions but finding the companionship in whichever direction. I mean, I take it if you're watching this reading, you're probably moving in the direction of the new earth shift. But regardless, even if you're not, there's companionship. You're going to find people who are in alignment with you, whichever direction you're going.
and getting paid attention to the music you listen to, like that you hear. Whether it be on the radio, whether it be coming from someone you pass in in public or anything, because for some, there's a message that spirit is communicating to you through it. I'm looking at the birds on this card here, which there's more than a couple here, but this is right next to the Joy Music card. The moon is, and it's a full moon on this card in the background, like, deep intuition but like psychic messages coming through in the form of music as well all right a scent card on the split stuck on the bottom of the deck and i did a pre-shuffle of all these piles and cards earlier and then like split them and Rearrange them everything so I don't know where everything is or what the original cards on the bottom of the deck were. But again, if you've been in like a solitude mode or in a reflection mode as well for some, you're now with this um beginnings east card companionship. As you go through this portal, you're also rising into more ascent, higher consciousness. Again, though, I'm getting that that your spiritual team is celebrating you at this time. The divine. But again, coming into new connections, which are going to be uplifting as well. Contemplation on the split. Could be indigenous American. African. Could have Mayan, Mayan heritage in you, like, you know, just connection to where there are these pyramids, whether that be like Egypt, Africa, whether it be Mayan civilization, Aztec, whatever it is, like some of you, you have a deep connection to pyramids. But again, contemplation, that's what I was really being like drawn to here. Like contemplation is going to help you continue to renew and regenerate your energy and to help you to be in alignment with yourself as much as possible to continue to rise through these ascensions, through these Schumann resonance spikes and just energetic shifts that are going on. All right, what else? Spirit? Transformation. Reflection. All right, number four, the fire element. So for some, again, this is what is leading you to this energy that you're in of renewal, of regeneration, of new beginnings, of just being more in alignment with yourself. I'm also getting heart chakra activation again. So that rose love there may want to work with rose quartz, may want to work with green adventuring, moldavite, jade, green moss agate. that up there but there is something that is being transformed through the reflection modes those periods of stillness purification card number two something being purified the energy of the world at large but just within your own internal worlds as well Confidence in the wisdom that you've obtained from the past cycles. The peacock with the snake in its mouth. The peacock is also wading through the water and helping the snake cross to land. I'm getting thoth energy. The Olmecs. Souls from Atlantis who traveled to other parts of the world to start, again, new civilizations with that 
that pyramid card that we had on the contemplation card. Carrying new wisdom to other places. I'm getting there's a lot of spiritual eyes on you, like the eyes of the divine. The peacock feathers. But this card is coming right next to the butterfly regeneration card and the rain renewal card. Like something is being washed clean within the earth, within yourself. Something is being regenerated, renewed. I'm getting four of swords and star card energy. Moving to greener pastures. Now I'm getting Hathor energy. Also, the, the grass is greener where you water it. The grass is green because it's watered. Card number seven of the fire element. Yo, a lot of transformation, quickening, puzzle pieces, information, things falling into place. Also, sometimes when things seem like they're falling apart, it's just so that the right things in alignment with your soul and the path that you are on or meant to be on can fall into place. Card number two of the water element, surrender. And this is surrendering to your higher self, to the divine, to your soul's process and evolution. It's like through reflection and inner purification, it leads to the quickening of this renewal, the water cooling off these fires, to you being more in alignment with yourself, but also more awakened to your higher self a deeper connection to the higher self, to the divine. I've also realized that you are held in the hands, the palm of the universe, of source. And the more you surrender to your soul's purpose, the more this ascension just continues to move along different phases of new beginnings, of renewal, of regeneration, purification, things more quickly blooming with this rose love card here which opens the door to more joyful experiences to be had by letting go of the old detaching with that island card from what no longer serves you and bridging the gap to the to the things that you do want the experiences being asked to surrender and detach from what doesn't serve you. This is going to create more energetic space for more beautiful, loving, and joyful things to enter into your life. some tarot four of wands on the split something for worth celebrating something that's bringing joy and happiness again it's also a card of community as well as marriage the rose love card somewhere today someone's getting proposed to I feel like that's just a given. I don't know if it's in this collective here, but someone's getting proposed to. I 
are receiving like a offer of commitment. Four of Wands and the Lover's card. That's the marriage. Harmony, unified love, divine love. Some of you, this is entering into your life. Some of you, it's the connection, the relationship that you're already in, reaching a deeper level of that. Some of you, that's just a deeper marriage and union of your own masculine, feminine energies within yourself. Alrighty, spirit. Would you like to clarify for us through the tarot, please? That's a lot. All right, so we got the Knight of Swords. Got the King of Cups. We've got the Strength card. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Moon card. not being guided to keep these out actually but the knight of swords the king of cups the strength the ace of cups the moon card this is a quickening and strengthening within your own emotional balance within your own cup of love that ace of cups as well overflowing that self-love that rose love this could be love for another but strength like a renewal of courage passion within your life of your inner fortitude. I'm getting for some this is in regards to like actually like standing up for oneself, defending oneself with the Knight of Swords, but doing so from an emotionally balanced and compassionate way. I'm getting overcoming the situations with kindness. Ace of Cups. The moon card, though, like this is with the ace of cups, I'm getting an overflowing of intuition of your psychic gifts and abilities. That king of cups being balanced within it, strength card, a strengthening of it. Knight of swords, this is happening rapidly. And it's part of this beginning. Coming from going through this regeneration by going through that that inner reflection taking time to disconnect from outside world of influences to connect to the inner world to purify within as well to remain in alignment within again I'm, I'm seeing I forgot about the bravery card here but the bravery the knight of swords energy like this is in the strength card. Another card of bravery as well. Like this is sticking up for oneself from a emotionally balanced perspective. Which is leading to these new beginnings. Having the bravery to detach from what no longer serves you. Again, with this quickening card here. Like surrendering to your process, which is speeding this up. The Knight of Swords is right underneath and lined on top of the quickening card with the puzzle pieces, as well as the King of Cups. Like something is falling into place quick. Well, I don't say falling out. Clicking into place quickly, more rapidly. It feels like this is an increase in your gifts and abilities. All you're being asked to do is to continue to surrender to your higher self, to the divine, and your journey. And I'm being guided to put these cards back in the deck. So I'm going to do that.
give it a shuffle. Nah. One card at a time, please, Spirit. Would you like to clarify to your tarot for this situation? Alrighty. Queen of Cups. Again, this is like pouring into that cup that's in your hand. Over, that's having the Ace of Cups in hand. It's overflowing onto the ground here. This is nurturing oneself and the connections within your life. It's also being calm, emotionally stable and balanced. Healing energy, caring energy. I'm getting that with the companionship of the animals card. I'm hearing compassionate. But again, intuitive. Like the Queen of Cups is the most psychically developed like queen in the deck and there's a lot of we were just talking about before we put these cards back here was the was um the ace of cups with the moon card like an increase overflowing of intuition psychic gifts and abilities all right what else spirit six of pentacles High Priestess card. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of intuitive psychic energy. Yeah, I'm getting this is healing, emotionally balanced and nurturing connections though that some of you are just coming into with this. Beginnings East card, companionship, animals card. Six of Pentacles coming up after the Queen of Cups. Like this is well-balanced, nurturing connections. I Priestess, this could be in regards to a spiritual community, but this is also, I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles, something being balanced within your own spiritual, your spiritual being. Activating more of that sacred knowledge. Something is being renewed. High Priestess is also a card of purity. Like purified. Pure connection to the divine. Also balance between the masculine and feminine energy. I'm looking at the black and the white pillar. Trust yourself as you continue to move forward along this path. Your higher self knows the way. Trust your intuition and you will always be guided in the direction that is most beneficial for you. Card number, well, Wheel of Fortune. But number 10. Wheel of Fortune again though. Something, you're at a turning point. You've already reached it or gone through it. But again, a new cycle of getting dharma. Positive karma. Especially if you've stepped more onto and continue to move forward along your spiritual path. Like your soul's purpose. You're always going to be in alignment with the divine, with yourself. I'm getting though, this is a turning point within your spiritual journey. Again, I'm getting that like no looking back energy. The bravery card pointing forward and walking forward towards this Beginnings East card, this portal. Like moving forward. Past toxic cycles or just karmic cycles on the bottom here. And now in alignment with this divine. Like Sphinx. Some of you could be going through like an initiation within your soul. But the Sphinx is holding 
the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth. I'm also getting activating and tapping more into the Akashic Records with this card. Like this is, okay, so the turning point within your spiritual being a journey. Like some of you are accessing more and tapping into your Akashic Records. I'm looking at all of these spiritual beings right here who are recording like angels. They all have a, a pad there. In their hands, they're reading the book, getting the book of life, your soul's journey and blueprint. Some of you could have like Scandinavian heritage, or like Icelandic, like I'm getting Viking energy, I'm seeing these as as of rooms for some reason like well i'm feeling like thinking about these as rooms some of you could work with rune magic could be a new form of divinity of divination that some of you are being guided to what else spirit King of Pentacles. So for some, this is a turning point within your finances as well. Your abundance. Did I mention something about abundance earlier? I think I might have. I don't remember for sure. But entering into a prosperous cycle of growth. Like this Wheel of Fortune and the King of Pentacles card is lined up perfectly on the split with this Beginnings East card. And this King of Pentacles card is also lined up on the Companionship card, Beginnings card. Like this is also generous, balanced connections. Again, nurturing connections. We have the Six of Pentacles here, which is a card of generosity, sharing, as well, like giving and receiving, but nurturing connections, like mutual connections, where you're being poured into and able to pour into others, getting reciprocity. Let's do it. Nine of Pentacles. Abundance. So again, this is definitely like a turning point for some of you in regards to like your financial situations in which you are just coming into more abundance. Grapes, a lot of grapes energy here. I'm getting whatever it is that you've been going through, whatever it is that you've overcome, whatever it is that you are moving towards, the juice is worth the squeeze. I just continue to surrender to this process. Because the outcome is beautiful. Like, it's going to be something that brings you a lot of joy. This is happening quickly. You know, with this quickening card, I don't want to put like a time frame on it or anything, but like just the more that you continue to surrender to this journey, to your process, the more rapidly this is going to happen. We did have the Knight of Swords come out earlier. Some I'm getting your, like generational wealth. You could come from that, or just in general, like the path that you're on, you're on the road to building that. Wheel of Fortune, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. 
like the Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy. I was just talking about kind of picking up on that energy earlier. And I always kind of get that energy from this purification card as well. So for some of you, this is maybe an idea, a work project, something of that nature. The lover's card. Some of you, this is a work partnership. Kind of being drawn back to like that temperance energy looking at the queen of cups and the king of pentacles here it's like and then being drawn back to like that frog energy the tadpole going from the tadpole to the um to the frog being able to go from water to earth something manifesting from the spiritual i'm getting this divine timing like Within your Akashic Records, it's divine timing for something. But something manifesting from the spiritual to the physical. For some of you, this is, again, new partnerships. Romantic, platonic. A deeper partnership and marriage between and within your own masculine and feminine energy here. But something, it's divine timing. Divine timing is at play. But with that temperance energy again, what I was talking about was the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Like, if this is your already existing relationships that some of you are in, like, I'm just getting that it is very nurturing and well-grounded. For some of you, I'm getting you're coming into a connection, which is going to be very, very abundant. A very harmonious and balanced, reciprocal, but it's going to be very nurturing and enduring. I'm getting very long term. The Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Like, the King of Pentacles is somebody who, like, puts in that. I was, I was picking up on Seven of Pentacles energy earlier, but we have the Nine of Pentacles energy here. It's like that harvest, like, time invested. Well, I was just saying, uh, like the juice is worth the squeeze for whatever it is that you're going through ideas or whatever it is, like whatever you're working through or working towards, it's going to be worth it. It's going to bring you joy. But the King of Pentacles is grounded. Like it's someone who's willing to put in the work, who's like ready to take the time necessary, however long it takes to see something grow to full fruition. To like its full bloom and harvest. To see the fruits of their labor. I'm getting for some of you. Like this is what your re existing relationship may be evolving more into if it's not that. Again earlier for some you've detached from some form of a connection. In which this is freed up space for this type of energy to come in a very grounded very loving nurturing energy it doesn't have to be a water sign it doesn't have to be an earth sign it's general it could be an air sign with the lover's card here it could be a fire sign with the wheel of fortune here jupiter energy also jupiter the planet that rules expansion like something is growing expanding and the more energetically you free up your your energetic field of what no longer serves you like it is going to open that space up for all of this energy to enter
for some of you, I'm getting this is just self-love. Nurturing oneself, like being, allowing yourself grace to reach your full bloom and potential, to continue to step more into that. To know that all of the energy that you invest into yourself, all the self-love, all the healing, all of the time that you allow for reflection, to be more in alignment with your own internal soul's compass and with your higher self, like the more, the more abundant you're going to be and feel within who you are and where you're going and know that abundance is your birthright. Love is your birthright. So if not from somebody else, like allow it from your, for yourself, from yourself, from the divine, divine love, grace, healing. All right. We're going to get into the Ascension Oracle here. Freedom on the... What is it? I don't know. Freedom and transmutation, though. <laughs> There's this one hour, two minutes, and one second on the clock. One, zero, two, zero, one. You want to be on the lookout for the number 12 or the number 21 or 121. All right, Spirit. What do you want the collective to know and look forward to with the ascension? Aspects of this part of the reading here. Card number four, wholeness. Card number 34, star consciousness. The number 434 could be significant. So something is being made whole. This is you making yourselves whole. Knowing that you are whole. You are complete. Living in that awareness. In that level of consciousness. Flip back in, but I'm pretty sure I just saw the change card here. Yeah, change card. I'm leaving it in there because it flipped in. But again, something's changing. This would have come out right on top of the Wheel of Fortune energy. A divine timing change. Mind Garden. Card number 11, Portal Energy. Again, for some, this is like a renewal of mind. A higher state of awareness, star consciousness, mind garden. Knowing that you lack nothing. Like being asked to have that mindset always. To know that you are whole and complete as you are, who you are. Yes, you can make changes to still become more in alignment with your soul's purpose and continue to ascend. But know that you are whole and complete as you are. Now I'm getting, you know, 
there could be some some soul flat fragment retrieval that some of you are going through or have gone through but that everything happens in divine timing for the experiences that are necessary at this current time wherever you're at in your journey through your ascension process again certain challenges obstacles had to be overcome in their divine timing and everything you know that throughout all that like within you there is always everything that you need to succeed to overcome whatever challenges or obstacles that may seem seem apparent or there everything is just a lesson that can be learned all right what else spirit card number 36 love unbound This wholeness card here. Allow for yourself to wholly express your love for yourself, for others, for the divine. Allow for love to nurture your mind and to see all of the beauty that blooms from that. All of the doors of love which are opened up from that. All of the renewal and regeneration that that brings for you. That kind of space and energy that is created and attracted into your life. Transitioning Worlds card, card number 28. Again, this Wheel of Fortune energy, 10. Transitioning Worlds card, 10. Like something is at a destined transition point. I want to make sure that you're connecting and grounded. You want to focus on the Earth Star Chakra, especially if you're activating and experiencing and connected to the higher chakras even beyond the crown like the earth star the grunt or the root chakra the gold star as well as the heart chakra throat chakra the um third eye crown chakra again i'm getting that soul star and like soul blueprint chakra energy card for the spirit. Love unconditional. Card number 26. Alrighty. Again, allow for the unconditional love of the divine to flow into your life. Allow for unconditional love to fill yourself and flow from yourself. For yourself, for others. Where are the main overlying energies that are heavy here? So we've got Pisces energy with the Moon card, as well as Cancer and Scorpio with the Queen of Cups. We've got Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune with the Jupiter. We've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the the King of Pentacles, heavy on the Virgo energy with the Nine of Pentacles. We've got Gemini energy here with the Lover's card. Again, more Cancer energy, 34, adding up to a 7. Got some Libra energy there. 11, Aquarius energy, Mind Garden. Love Unbound, 36. 9, Sagittarius energy, Transitioning Worlds card. 10, well, number 28, adding up to a 10, like Capricorn energy. And 26, Love Unconditionally, adding up to an 8, Scorpionic energy. 
major transformative energy throughout this reading though, a turning point. Something that is approaching rapidly or that you've already entered into and that you are more rapidly moving into the next level and phase of abundance of expansion with this Jupiter energy being the center card out of the seven for the tarot spread. Like expansion. Especially within getting business partnerships with the, the King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, but the Lover's card. Expansion within your your material reality as well. But this is coming from having expanded from the from the spiritual aspect of yourself as within, so without, as above, so below. As you connect and you expand more within your own spiritual gifts and abilities, like certain things will begin to expand or open up and manifest in the material reality but this high priestess card followed by the wheel of fortune like an expansion within your own spirituality intuition psychic gifts and abilities collective that is all i have for i think that's all spirits got here i do want to see actually what's the final card top of the deck here change top of the deck there bottom of the deck is still transmutation top of the deck for the regeneration card pile sun card faith have faith that your path will always be illuminated to help you move through any of that moon energy that came out earlier a little bit, but to help you move in alignment with your soul's path, with source. All you have to do is stay connected. Have faith. Faith can move mountains. Faith of a mustard seed can grow all of these trees of abundance. Anything that it, that it is that you put your mind to and that you nurture within. Top of the deck, the transformation card here. We have liberation, divine, releasing the chains of the past. Anything that doesn't emotionally serve you in your spiritual path in alignment with your soul. Your soul is greatest and highest good. It's just one hour, 13 minutes on, on the clock. With that, I think that is... All I have for you, Collective. Hope that this mes message resonated with you. Like, comment, share, subscribe if it did. Um, it was just 1 13, 13 on the clock. So new beginnings after major double, double transformation energy with that death card, Scorpio energy, number 13. Major beginnings after a lot of transformation. Yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoy the vibe. The messages did resonate. Hope that you continue to have a great and blessed day. Know that you are loved and blessed. Continue to connect to the animals, the plants, the insects, all the synchronicities, the angel numbers, the symbolism that Mother Nature, the universe, God, source, the divine has to offer for us simply through being aware. That being said, I leave this message with you with much love, much peace, much balance. I wish you all many blessings. Love you. Peace.